Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with the Jaspies 9 box, the Logo Man Mixer, featuring a Kobe Bryant and, and the logo, Jerry West, dual autograph. In fact, it's right here. There it is. Graded a 9, 5, and 10. That's pretty awesome. 49 out of 49. That's pretty great. So that's what we're giving away at the end. One person in the break is going to get that at the very end. So even if you get randomized a bad team, or if you have a bad break, at least you can cross your fingers and get the biggest hit out of this break, which will be that. I think that should be pretty awesome. There's, a, there's another look at it right there. It's a 30-spot break. No veteran common ship, as most of you would assume, except for these usual, the usuals right there. These are the boxes involved. And these are the people involved. Thanks. Now, some of you bought spots straight up, which I appreciate. And congrats again to the people who won spots right there in Chronic 363, 364, 366. And we just did 367 not too long ago. And some more people buying spots straight up there. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Thanks, Robert. Two and a five, seven times each. Lucky seven. Names and teams seven times. One, two, four, six. And seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Robert Runkle down to Malia. All right, two and a five, seven times for the teams. And seventh and final time. Good luck. We got the Hornets down to the Pelicans. I think, uh, did I just see that Gordon Hayward went to the Pelicans? Did I see that news right? Pelicans. Or I'm sorry, the Hornets, that is. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hornets on top. Man. Sorry, I was read I was like Ron Burgundy. I was just reading what's on the screen. We got <laughs> just the Pelicans are on the bottom of the list. All right, so let me just change it. So Robert Runkle, you have the Charlotte Hornets in this mixer. Hi, Laros with the Bucks, Catherine with the Nuggets, Aaron with the Grizz, Aubrey with the Mavs, Lee Ziao Chen with the Suns and the Celtics, Johnny with the Magic, Matt Lieber with the Nets, Sean Maddock with the Knicks, Ben with the Bulls, Matthew with the Raptors, Francis with the Jazz, Dave with the Kings, Alyssa with the Clippers, Michael with the Warriors, Kenneth with the Wizards, Dave with the Thunder, Matt with the Hawks, Marcus, you got my Lakers, Jesse with the Heat, Kim with the Spurs, Peter with the Sixers, uh, Matthew Garner, Last Spot Mojo Star, next to your name, Indiana Pacers, Chen with the Timberwolves, Aubrey Poole with the Rockets, Sean Maddock with the Trailblazers, Harry Laos with the Pistons, Lee Ziao with the uh, Cavs, and Malia with the New Orleans Pelicans. So let's put that all on one screen right there, alphabetized by team name. So let's center that up right there. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break itself. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. There was a lot of trade chatter, but uh, in the end, no, no, deal, no deals were done. So the list that you saw on the previous screen remains the same. Saturday the 21st. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. We, oh, there is also... A mistake. I put the wrong person's name here. In fact, his name was replaced with the other per He's in the right spot for the randomizer. So he ended up getting the thunder. Thanks for pointing that out, Matt. Disaster averted. Disaster averted. All right, so let's get that here. Let's start off with, should we go old school? I think this might be the oldest box here, right? 1516? Does anyone remember who's in that 2015-16 rookie class? Is that Yan? No. What year? 2015. Devin Booker. I don't have the Carl hard drives. Okay, you can, can you hear Nick in the background? Devin Booker, Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, so long ago. Uh, D'Angelo Russell. Nikola Jokic. Porzingis. Jokic. Yeah, Jokic. Okay, those are some those are some good players. Larry Nance Jr. 
Can't forget about him. Terry Rozier. Kelly Oubre Jr. Miles Turner. Could be some late bloomers in here too. Some of those late blooming rookies. It's kind of funny because D'Angelo Russell was take Carl Anthony Towns was taken first in this draft. D'Angelo Russell taken second by the Lakers, and then ends up with Carl Anthony Towns. So it's like the Timberwolves got the first two picks in the 2015 draft. They do have the first two picks in the 2015 draft, except D'Angelo Russell has marinated a little bit, is a much more mature and solid player. It worked out nicely for them. I think they could they they could be pretty pretty dangerous this year. I got Ricky Rubio back on that team that could run the offense. Trendsetter, what's going on, Aaron? Ricky Rubio running that offense. D'Angelo Russell doing some scoring. Carl Anthony Towns occupying some space in the paint. They've got their draft picks from 2019. Then they've got this year's draft pick, the number one overall pick. So think about that. That, that, could, be, that could be a pretty great team there. In my opinion... For what that's worth. Yeah, Michael Stewart, we did it. We finally got that filled today. Now we've got, uh, we did the football mixer yesterday, which was nice. Then we did the, uh, we're doing the basketball mixer tonight. I think we could get to the baseball mixer tonight too. That's, Nick posted a three sport mixer on the website. And the baseball one's the last one. So maybe we can ch keep chipping away at that tonight. What do I have on the background? I got football on the background. I got California at Oregon State. It's just UC Berkeley. I don't know why they get California. As a, as a, uh, a graduate of UC San Diego, I kind of take umbrage to that. All right, so basically we're just looking for rookie cards up in this. But not Justin Anderson. Not Andrew Harrison. I want some big name rookies here. Give me some big name rookies. There's Nerlens Noel. That's to 3.99. Which I'm actually going to put right over here, and we'll have our our team sleeve and top load those before they go out. There's Jarrell Martin, who's okay. So these are all commons that aren't going to ship. Is I think Rakeem Christmas his claim to fame is that. Is he married to Michael Jordan's daughter? Or is that someone, am I thinking of someone else? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. 748 to 299. Oh, and then Autograph. There you go, behind Tyler Zeller. Great significance autograph, Ray McCallum. Even though he has King's jersey, he's actually a spur in this set. That goes to Kim in the San Antonio Spurs. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. There's Clay Anthony Early to 299. Michael Stewart, thanks for the research. He Googled it. Rakeem Christmas is and still married to Michael Jordan's daughter. There you go. There's Rashad Vaughn. Oh, man. Remember Anthony? But, no, Lakers. Those people outside of Lakers fans may not remember Anthony Brown. I think the Lakers are still paying this guy like a million dollars. There's Moody A. Kelly Overy Jr. Here's a Giannis. Now, 
That's for the Bucks. That'll be for Harry Laos. Bobby Portis. Pat Connaughton. Jones, come on, let's, let's get a big rookie out of here. Speaking of Michael Jordan, apparently Lamelo Ball, who's on who's on Charlotte now, said that the uh, that that infamous one on one between his dad and Michael is not going to happen. Boo! There's Carl Anthony Towns, nice. I feel like I, I feel like a part of Michael Jordan. There you go. There's Trez right there. I think part of Michael Jordan probably drafted him because he wanted to play LeVar one-on-one. -on -one. So there's rookie Carl Anthony Towns for Lizio Chen and the Timberwolves. Nice. Over under one score for Lavar. I'll take the under on that. And Carlton Town's new teammate, D'Angelo Russell, down there too. Right, yeah. I knew what she meant. Point five. We don't we want to avoid the push. Nice D'Angelo Russell Lakers edition for Marcus. There's a Porzingis rookie card. Man, if that guy could just stay healthy, that's the thing. If that guy could just stay healthy, his. Because back in 2015, these guys' cards. Are, are, are still probably hot, but we're really hot in 2015. But, you know, being on the Knicks and maybe some injuries kind of kind of interrupted things. So that was 2015-16. What's the next year that we can do? What is this? This is 2018-19. I think the next year would be 17-18. Hoops right here with Lonzo on the front. So let's refresh my 2017 class. <laughs> Richard Thomas saying, only if uh, you cut off Jordan's legs first would he even have a chance. This is the Markel Fultz, Lonzo, Jason Tatum here. That's right, Jason Tatum, De'Aaron Fox, who signed a monster deal, Zach Collins, Donovan Mitchell, Bam Adebayo, so on and so forth. So pretty good class here too. They should do it for charity. Why, why can't LeVar... <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe Lavar's pride would get in the way, but who wouldn't want to see Michael Jordan just just dominate Lavar Ball? And just... Twenty-one nothing. They'll just be like game over. I feel like there was some. I gotta keep track of all the what all the transactions happening here, right? So Carmelo returns to the Blazers for a one year. Oh right, Gordon Hayward got paid. Big deal with the Hornets. So he opts out and signs a $120 million deal with the Hornets. That could be interesting. Right? They've got some, they got Devontae Graham, PJ Washington, Terry Rozier. Now they have Gordon Hayward. Now Rondo thanks the Lakers, reaches a deal with the Hawks. Hey, good for him, Rondo, go get paid. Millsap, Paul Millsap returns to the Nuggets on a one-year deal. Uh, on a one-year, ten-year deal. There's a report that uh, Avery Bradley leaving the Lakers to go on the Heat. He gets a two-year, what, a, almost $12 million deal. Good for him. Make that money. Pels get, I think, Stephen Adams maybe as part of the holiday trade. 
Crowder and Sons reach a three-year agreement. Van Vliet re-signs with the Raptors, four years, $85 million. Portis and Augustine reach multiple multi-year deals with the Bucks. Jeff Green joins the Nets for the vet minimum. La Lakers got Montrezl. I'm happy about that. It kind of fills that maybe Dwight Howardish kind of kind of role. That's not as big, but sort of a bigger bigger man sort of role. Lakers keep going with the size, strength, and he's he's a he's pretty feisty too. I think he adds a little bite to that Lakers team as well. Maurice Harkless agrees to a $3.6 million deal with the Heat. Ariza, in his third trade of the week, eventually goes to OKC. Dwight Howard initially tweeted that he was going to stay a Laker, but joins the Sixers on a one-year deal. I think that is that Joe Harris with us? Yeah, Joe Harris returns to the Nets, $75 million, four years. That's pretty good for him, too. Wolves and Beasley reach a four-year deal worth $60 million, so they're adding to that team. You know, Michael Stewart saying Rondo to the Hawks and with Gallinari, I forgot about him, could make a run at the eighth seed. I was saying, someone asked me, was it you? Someone was asking me the other day what uh, who I thought was going to be like the dark horse team last year. I think, I think the Hawks underperformed last year. So I'm gonna I'm gonna double down on the Hawks. Um, I'm just gonna double down on the Hawks and say I think they're gonna be, I think they're gonna be my dark horse team of the year. They got John Collins too. Just pull that John Collins rookie card. John Collins is solid. They Trey Young is excellent. Now they've got. Rondo to kind of run that offense. Opens up room for Trey Young. Gallinari's a great player, too. And then they got the youngster. Then they got John Collins. And they got youngsters like Cam Reddish and DeAndre Hunter, who I don't know if they really reach their, their potential. And if they keep building some depth around that team... Yeah, can you imagine like Trey Young not having to? I mean, although I think Trey Young surprised a lot of people with how, how well he distributed the basketball, but but if he doesn't have to worry about, you know, he's still pretty young. If he doesn't have to worry about running an offense, and Rondo can just go out there and run the offense, and if they get into the playoffs, well, you know what playoff Rondo can do. You saw him with my Lakers. So so yeah, I think that would be pretty good. Rondo's like another coach on, on, on the court, too, and I think that's just, I think the, you know, he's going to kind of check out during the regular season. But I think he'll just, he'll be a great, he'll be a great teacher for, uh, I think he'll be a great teacher for, for the guy, for the youngsters on that team, just playoff culture, all that sort of stuff. There's Hoops, Inc., Etwan Moore. That goes to Malia and the Pelicans. Oh, hi, Nick. Looks like we're going to get some, some help on the Nick cam above my head. You can see this Chronicle of Vox flying over there from the boss man. That's from, from a 20-year-old Tops, Tops thing. There's Markel Fultz for the Sixers, Peter. Bam out of bio for the Heat. Jesse with the Heat. You think the Hawks will still pay for the decision to pass on Luca? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Kevin Love. But Trey Young isn't Trey Young isn't bad at all. There's TJ Leaf, Pacers. I 
I mean, you're going. You're, I guess you know you're going from Luka Doncic, elite MVP layer level player, right? For first team All NBA guy, and you got Trey Young, who's going to be like a perennial second team All NBA guy. You know what I mean? Like, it's not bad. And one of the most more more exciting scores in the league. He can, he can drop a fifty burger at any time. You know. Seems like a pretty good dude from what, some interviews that I've seen. There's a Jason Tatum rookie car. There we go. Lee Zhao Chen with the Celtics. All right, he's not bad. He's not Luca. I get that. But I think you. I think it's like what's what's done is done, right? You gotta gotta go with the one you have. Yeah, just everything. What should we do last? Obsidian and, and Tmall. Yeah. Don't forget, folks. If you're thinking, "Man, I'm having a not good break," or "I don't like the team that I got randomized," remember you still have a shot at this. So it's pretty good. I don't know why I'm setting aside this just just pure Lakers bias right here. I'm sleeving that Kyle Kuzma rookie card at Lakers, Marcus Young, because I think Kuzma's going to have a career year. Gonna have a career year this year. This is Chronicles Fat Pack Boxes. So speaking of Luka Doncic, there he is right up there. On Jaspi, you, you can buy on jaspiescasebreaks.com. Link is in the chat. Tyler Hero, he's pretty good. We were talking about Cam Reddish, maybe underperformed a little bit last year, but I think could could take it to the, to take another positive step forward this year. John Morant, I like John Morant. He's pretty good. He's one of the elite rookies from the 2019-2020 set. Obviously him and Zion. Tyler Hero real solid. I don't know what Steph Curry's gonna do. Steph Curry, maybe, I mean, guys like this have to step up. Eric Pascal has, has to step up. Culver. Luka Doncic again. R.J. Barrett, there's Zion. R.J. Barrett, of course, can also I think also maybe underperformed a little bit last year. And he could uh, could really take it to the next level, too. Zion Williamson, Prestige Edition. Going to the Pelicans, Malia. Zion Williamson, Playbook Edition. Going to Malia. This is a spot that Malia bought straight up and got randomized the Pels. There's LeBron James Essentials. Nick, do you have a, a, a sleeper team, an underdog team in the NBA? Yeah, with all the moves being made, draft or looking at the, some moves, early moves, draft picks. A sleeper team like a team that didn't make the playoffs? Yeah. Will? Yeah. I guess the Suns. Suns, okay. Yeah, they're, they're making moves, right? They had a Jay Crowder today. Right. And they already got Chris Paul, right? Yeah, Chris Paul. DeAndre Aiden's getting better every year. There's Anthony Dave. These Prism cards are almost like update cards, folks. So I think the, when Prism came out, he was still in his Pelicans gear. And so those Prism cards out of these Chronicles packs are sneaky good, if you ever happen to find any. Ooh, Michael Stewart saying lots of underperforming Duke players go UNC. I don't think there was a Duke first round pick this year. Oh, was there not? Ooh, ooh. Was there not? What's going on with Duke? But you could also say that Coach K is maybe making better college players than NBA players. There's 
Luka Doncic. That's you can actually see a bit of the copper right there, Dallas. That goes to Aubrey. Kobe White rookie card. John Morant is great. Love these luminance jaw, the luminance basketball. I mean, they should do luminance yeah, basketball. That yeah, that's, that's what I remember. I, I didn't, I didn't remember that. The funny story with this is that if you don't remember, is that he actually that's a dunk he actually missed. Someone pointed that out to me a while ago. There's Taco Fall Prism for the Celtics. Li Ziao Chen. All these Giannis's goes to Harry Laos and the Bucks. Those all add up too. People still still really into collecting uh, those Giannis cards, even his non-rookie year stuff. Nice, thank you, Nick. All right, so that helps this break go a little bit more quickly. Here's a prestige Jean Moran. All these go to Aaron. Aaron S. Won a spot, got randomized, the Grizzlies, and being rewarded with all these Jean Morants here. A lot of grading possibilities for these Jean Morants. That's what makes Chronicles so great. They're they're a little they're generous with the with Jaw and Zion. And it's a good one to really try to um, try to get good grades on and it'll turn out to be pretty nice, hopefully. Requires a little little more work to really extract the full value on it, but at least it gives you a good good baseline to start. Pelicans, once again, a Malia. What teams are gonna be disappointments, folks? What 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 teams do you think will be overhyped by the time the season starts and then disappoint? I'll have to think about that. I'll have to see how all the dust settles with free agency. Hmm, Clippers. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Clippers just really falls short, which would be. Which you know, with the way they they left things in the playoffs, I think that'd be very disappointing if they maybe even missed the playoffs this year. That'd be disastrous. I mean, as a Lakers fan, I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, Houston is obvious. Yeah, he, I don't know if Houston really counts because it's it looks like they're they're going to tear down that team. There's Zion again. I could see, and I mean, you know, I, I, I may be a little biased because I'm a Lakers fan, but I could see, I could see like the Celtics taking a step back for some reason, you know? Like they're accumulating all these draft picks, but something's just not clicking really. And, you know, and, and, and maybe, maybe they just, I think they'll make the playoffs, but maybe they'll just be a little disappointing throughout the season, you know? Kind of like I could see them taking one step back and maybe taking two steps forward the season after, but I could see them having maybe a down year this year. There's Schofield to 99. And Zion, nice Zion and Jaw right here, rated rookie cards. So nice Donner's Optic Basketball, rated rookie Zion, just a base, still nice. Pelicans. Malia, the John Rand, also nice. 
Grizzlies. Aaron. There's Kelly Olenek, Dominator Signatures for the Miami Heat. Jesse. Forty-seven out of forty-nine. Michael's sort of thinking maybe maybe the Nets could be a little overrated, especially if they get Harden. Yeah, but can Harden and this guy play together, Kyrie? Is that I don't know if that's a if I don't know if that's a good match. There's Eric Bledsoe, seventy out of seventy-nine. Pink Velocity. For the Bucks, what what can the can the can the Bucks convince Giannis to stay there? Trying to make some moves. Nice one, Mike Tower, little Paula. There's Jay Crowder, to one ninety nine. He was on the move. No, Patricia think or Birch thinks that uh, Celtics will be very good. Robert Williams is going to be a very good player. Yeah, maybe not the maybe maybe the Raptors take a step back. I see the Raptors taking a step back. Kobe White, Gerald Green, Lime Green to 149. That's pretty fun. That goes to the Rockets. That'll be for Aubrey. And there's poor Clay Thompson. Man. Feel bad for him. That's silver for the Warriors. Michael Duan. So trying to come back from a from an ACL and then does his Achilles. Oof. Wow, Michael Story, you think Pacers might be number one seed in the East? All right, this is some old 17-18 uh, Donruss Optic basketball. I think one of our, probably our last chance to see a Tatum, I think, and the rest of those guys. I think Enos Cantor is back with Trailblazers, maybe. So a lot of a lot of player moving. There's Jordan Bell, rookie Kings Frank Mason, one out of ten. I've seen that ad before, where 2020 edition of Paula Abdul dances along with 1989 Paula Abdul. Uh, current Paula Abdul still still looks like she has the moves. Here's Bam out of bio for the Heat, Jesse. With that one. All right, some more Chronicles. Tyler Hero. Doncic, Kobe White. And then we've got Nasir Little. That pink's exclusive to this uh, particular box here. And there's Playbook Zion for the for Malia and the Pelicans. I think she was I think Paula Abdul was a former Laker girl. That I don't remember. Laker girl choreographer? Yes. Both? Yes, says Nick Jaspi. Oh, she was the head choreographer. And and yeah, dancer? At wow. At eighteen? Yeah. So she's just some, some sort of some dance prodigy, huh? Like the like the LeBron James of, of dance. There's Luka Doncic, rookies and stars. Kobe Bryant, Kevin Garnett of dance.
Right, yeah, Mike Tower. Let's find her rookie card. The Jacksons? Yeah. Like Michael Jackson? Yeah. Hmm. She choreographed her uh, music videos for Janet Jackson. Wow. And signed the first environment. And then was just, then was dancing with cartoons before you know it. Um, I think in the music video, Opposites Attract, she dances with a cartoon cat. DJ Scat Cat, I believe. Oh, DJ Scat Cat. All right. That's the team all right there, folks. And this is the Obsidian. This is Revolution. These are the... Huh? Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah, people's minds were blown back then. They were just like, what? He's dancing with a cartoon? But they look like they're on screen together. Yeah. Blue people's minds. There's a Michael Porter Jr. autograph, right? Or a card right there. And Isaiah Thomas is different. There you go. That's at 100. That's cosmic. And so these ones were the ones kind of got away from the pattern there, but there's the groove pattern. There's Astro, Impact, Groove, Astro. You can tell the Groove and Astro are a bit of the more common ones. Fractal is a little more shorter printed. And there's Michael Porter Jr. for the Denver Nuggets. Rookie card for Catherine. Mike Tower says, I do have a 1991 Pro Set Superstars Music Cards promo card of Paul Abdul. Probably worth a dollar at the most. I don't know. With the way the hobby's going these days. All right. There's the Obsidian. The bottom two should just be regular cards right here. We got Dwight Howard, one of one. Wow, that pattern looked different right here. And I was like, what is that? Out of five, out of 10? No, it's a one of one. Lakers edition of Dwight Howard out of Obsidian Basketball, one of one, a champion. Nice, that goes to Marcus Young. Won that spot in a Chronicles pack break. Got randomized the Lakers and gets the all aboard. Whoop, whoop. He's on the Big Hit Express, ladies and gentlemen. Out of fives and under, get it. Nice. It's pretty sharp. All right, next we got a die cut here. Kind of looks like the key on a basketball court, right? That's Anthony Davis, his former teammate to 50. Here we've got Tori Craig, Denver Nuggets, Galaxy Autograph going to Catherine. And back here is, wow, Julius Irving. That's just a great box of obsidian. That goes to Peter. And the Philadelphia 76ers. The doctor is in. And that's four out of five. Two train whistles in this box. That's pretty awesome. Peter with the Sixers. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There you go. We got Will Barton back here too. Pretty nice. All right, Chronicles, T-Mall. That was in that sort of McDonald's apple pie box. China exclusive. And we're going to get 
a one out of eight. Kendrick Nunn, that's really cool. He had a nice rookie campaign last year along with his teammate Tyler Hero. Jesse Garcia with the Miami Heat. And the next one is eight out of eight, Eric Pascal rookie card. He's gonna really need a step up, try to fill the void that Clay Thompson has left behind. Nice, thank you, Darrell. All right. And that's for the Warriors, Michael Duan with that. Thanks, Michael, for getting in. And there you go. No randomizers to do, just need to randomize who gets this guy right here. There it is, Kobe Bryant. Jerry West, both treasures, RIP Kobe. Centering, corner surface, all a 9.5, edges are a 9. This is from 2013 NT. And their autographs, of course, are a 10. Pretty nice stuff. Pretty two Laker legends here. This is why, that's the logo right there, hence. This is the logo man break. Everyone gets a shot at it. So let's go back to the list. Fingers crossed. There's Matt Lieber down to Kenneth Geiger and everyone in between. Let's put him into a blank list. New dice and name on top after three times. Two and a one. After three times, name on top, dual autograph. Good luck. Kind of nervous for you guys. One. Two, and third and final time. Good luck, boys and girls. Thank you very much. I need like a drum roll sound effect here. All right, so from two down to 30, I appreciate you giving this a shot. Appreciate you getting in. And congrats to Johnny Ho. Johnny, congrats to you. Your name's on top. After three, did I do it right? I did, three times. Johnny's name's on top. That dual autograph is for you. Congrats, thanks for getting in. He bought a spot straight up too. So there you have it. That's how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. There's another break on the site where we're giving away a Mike Trout, I believe. So if you wanna chase Another one, go for it. And I think Johnny's local too, so Johnny, feel, feel free to pick this up too if you want. I'm Joe for Jaspi's Case. We're open till six. A couple hours. I'm Joe for Jaspi's Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.